This is our first presentation on computer log analysis software or class. This is a plugin for OpenDetect to perform log analysis and cure log cure viewing and editing. We go to Wells in the project tree. We have nothing here, so we are going to import. We can do it through last import where we browse for a file, select an existing well or create through Detect's own import well track and we can import from there. I'm going to show you the advanced mode. Here we have LAS information, name, description and units for the curve. This is class unit, what class understands from what it read from the LAS file, the name of the log curve and the description which I can uh, change for density and if I don't like this unit I can convert it to a different one or leave it with no unit at all. We can perform with or, w or without units. We can check which uh, curves to import and we can see which is the depth interval and sampling rate and we could see the same here for the well that is inside uh, OpenDetect. We can see the well information. This is what shows in the LAS header, we can change it at this time and we can see the run information which we can edit or we can create a new run and load it manually if we don't have it in the LAS file. I'm going to close this and go through the multi well last import which runs the same as this one but has no options yet, we're planning to expand on that so we select the files or we can drag files from a folder here and click import and close so it, would, it will parse every file and create a new well which doesn't exist and we are not yet taking the coordinates from the LAS file but we are planning to do so so now it created three wells and it just put them on the corner of the survey because they don't have coordinates. So it's a straight well borehole at the corner of the survey. So I'm going to work with sample 1 through this demo. I'm going to show you a log plot now. This has a standard template. You can see it shows the values here for each log curve and the depth here we can rotate it to make it a horizontal we can change the scales and we can zoom in and out we can go back to vertical and we can click on reset to go to a 1 to 1000 meter scale so this is our log plot I'm going to change some, some stuff through right click log settings so I'm going to change RT from blue to red so I click here I type ERE -E and that's that's taking me straight to red I click OK I'll set it to 0.5 to 50 in a logarithmic scale and apply and you can see the change here I'm going to add SP I'm typing it but I could open it and select it from here from minus 80 to 20 in a 2 pixels blue and apply and we see the SP here right now and I will change uh, density to purple so I type P U and it takes me straight to purple and I click OK and apply so it changes its color here I'm going to close this for a second now I'm going to add some markers to this well, so we want to put markers here. So we go to Detect Survey Manage Wells. We select them Edit Markers and we name it Top and Base, not too original. So it's 2774 and 2810 and it's a red marker for red color for this marker and uh, blue or purple for this one I'm going to check it's okay so 
this mess and back to the log plot. So what we have is a marker tab <coughs> which I can select names and lines. I apply and close and we can see the markers here. Top and base with their colors and names. We can also show cross plots under view cross plot. Here's a multi well cross plot. It has a multi well plus multi log cure functionality. We can turn on and off and we can configure this uh, quite close to the log plot. Last we have histograms. We have a multi well histogram here. We can turn on and off different wells or different log curves if we want to and we're going to keep working with our log plot. Now I want to correct the drift on this SP log curve so I right click edit baseline I click here and I have under my cursor I had gamma ray and SP so I had to, I have to choose which one so I choose SP the new will be SP BL for baseline from minus 80 to 20 in red with a clay line of zero so I click OK and I see the red and the blue log curves here red one is the edited one and the blue is the original one so I will click here and this is the blue one the original log curve and this point makes this go back to the clay line so I put some more points to correct the drift and once I'm okay with this I, ca I could just uh, remove points with control click which is the default open detect behavior once I'm done with this I click right click save edited log and it becomes a new log here now I right click log settings I take out the SP and I let SPBL be the blue one sorry okay I click apply and we have a straightened SP log curve now we want to compute a water saturation and clay line and for that we'll need a temperature curve so we're going to use Fahrenheit temperature this is a metric survey so we're using depth in meters we can change it to feet two so the shallower value is zero and it has a temperature of 80 Fahrenheit and the deepest point of this well is 2895.6 and it's 165 Fahrenheit degrees. I will call it temp1 and I compute this new log curve. Once I finished, I close, I go back to my log plot and I right click log settings. I'm just going to show this on the first track just for you to see that curve is already there from 140 to 170. Let's use red and apply so this is our new temperature lock curve I will close this and now we're going to B shell so for that we'll need to go to class calculus shale volume we're going to calculate it based on gamma ray since we knew that SP wasn't good enough so we find gamma ray and we'll use a clean value of 10 and a shield value of 135 with a stable formula. We are still going to run this from top to bottom of the well. We go to outputs and we find out that each of the B shells will go on a different log curve and will have a total shell volume or a called B shell. We want B shell on a decimal scale so we compute and we close this back to the log plot right click log settings 
and we'll add this visual gamma ray to the third track we have here let's use blue to make it different to the purple density and apply and we close so here is our visual gamma ray so now we're going to calculate a porosity from density so we'll go to class calculus density this is the way we're going to work with we're going to obtain a porosity from a density log cure which is rho b in grams per cubic centimeter the software knows this and the matrix is 2.68 and we're going to call this phi g and I could change this from top to base to compute from this top to this base so we have markers here we can just uh, type in new def values for the uh, from and to we'll, we'll leave it from start to end of the well and compute once it's done we're going back to the log plot we'll right click and we'll create a new track called pour for porosity I just go back to curves and we will select porosity and phi d from 0 to 0.5 and apply I will close so we can have a better look at, the, at this and here's our porosity from density in a new track next we're going to compute water saturation and for that we're going to class analysis water saturation we'll choose a well an expression we need to load in the factors and the temperature we have to select a resistivity curve we have resistivity curves and curves with no units here a class with filter log curves that doesn't fit in this box and then temperature curve it's in Fahrenheit is the one we computed previously porosity is phi d and shale volume is visual gamma ray so we're going to compute from start to end of the well we're not going to compute SXO because we don't have a proper shallow uh, resistivity curve and on the output we're going to name them default and use a decimal unit we compute and once it's done we're going to log plot with right click log settings I'm going to create a new track we we'll call it SW and we'll change visual gamma ray to the porosity and to red and load water saturation from 0 to 1 in green 2 pixels and apply so here we are and we're going to shade water saturation now from shading paint if a log curve is to the right and in the water saturation track we have this curve only and when it's above 0 0.5 we'll shade it in green so once we have this selected we add here and we apply and we get our shading done we can change SW to blue and apply and we're done with this finally we're going to calculate a report for reservoir net pay so we keep working with sample one and you and we create a new zone from start to end we'll use our previously computed log curves phi d s w a and visual gamma ray we'll change some of those um, cutoffs here and we can compute on measure def or TBD for which we will need a verticalized def curve we can compute net pay and reservoir 
and on the outputs we can choose a new path or a file name for our report to append or overwrite and the name of the output log curves which will be in a flag unit. So we compute and once it's done we can look at the report which has all the computed values here and tells us which were the parameters we used then we close and go back to the log plot. Now we right click log settings again and choose last track again and we put net pay from uh, 10 to 0 let's say in red with two pixels OK and apply and we get our pay log curve here for shading paint if the log curve is to the left of a value in the last track net pay from 0 0.01 in red OK add and apply we close this window and we're done with this presentation for computer log analysis software thank you for watching